So, you want to find out whether or not your symbol is being looked at by the FBI. Your symbol, your movement, etc. Well, you've come to the right place. Because I have uh, a couple uh, images that were released by Project Veritas that are allegedly of internal documents from the FBI uh, that discuss the symbols that they are looking at and the movements that they are looking looking into. Um, this is allegedly unclassified slash law enforcement sensitive FBI internal use only. Federal Bureau of Investigation Domestic Terrorism Symbols Guide. Militia Violent Extremism. So, uh, without further ado, let me lean back here as much as I can in this shit-ass kitchen chair. Uh, feel free to throw some cash, because unlike whoever probably released this, I'm not supported by the government, and uh, I don't want to be homeless next week. So, feel free if you want. But, uh, this is what we got here. So... <laughs> what you're seeing is uh, apparently Boogaloo, and caps, Punisher skulls, anything 2A, uh, Second Amendment, Molan Labe, Black Flag, Electrical Resistance Symbol. I have never seen that used by anybody. That's not a real thing. I guarantee you, that's not a real fucking thing. That, like, a, a group of any size uses. Um, and of course, the, the warrior culture, where you've got the fucking, like, Spartan and Roman and all this shit on your shit. The following symbols are used by anti-government or anti-authority violent extremists. Specifically, militia violent extremists. Uh, MVE symbols are often found on propaganda, online platforms, memes. To differentiate from every other online platform thing. Gotta love how they just... They, they either tip their hand that they have done exactly zero research about this at all. Or this is intentional release designed to make them look stupid to the common person. Because holy shit, uh, merchandise, group logos, flags, tattoos, uniforms, etc. Widespread use of symbols and quotes from American history, especially the Revolutionary War. Y you get that? You can't quote things from the Revolutionary War without risking the ire of the current government if this is real, if this is legitimate. <laughs> um, events within MVA, MVE networks, uh, historic and uh, contemporary military themes are common for MVE symbols. Um... The use or sharing of these symbols alone should not independently be considered evidence of MVE presence or affiliation or serve as an indicator of illegal activity as many individuals use these symbols for their original historic meaning or other nonviolent purposes. So... You can use a symbol for violent purposes. That's fucking hilarious. And notice that they don't include anything like... They're not including the anarchist circle A. They're not including, you know, fucking... Anything but these. But like, okay, so the symbol there. Commonly referenced historical imagery or quotes, right? We, we already got through the symbols. Uh, Gadsden flag. Liberty tree. That being the tree of liberty 
must be refreshed from time to time with the blood of patriot and patriots and tyrants. You can't quote that founder anymore. The Betsy Ross flag. You or the Revolutionary War imagery, just like any that's a general category and they have like a Minuteman or whatever. I it's so this is page 1, right? Um and then page 2 is over here where they say that threepers uh, American contingency and oath keepers are the three groups that they're most looking at here. <laughs> when tyranny, you can't say these phrases without triggering their ire. Um, when tyranny becomes law, rebellion becomes duty. <laughs> we are everywhere. Expect us. I will not comply. All enemies, foreign and domestic. The tree of liberty must be refreshed from time to time with the blood of patriots and tyrants. I became ungovernable. His name was Duncan Lemp. Well-regulated American militia. And they say that, that the figures that they most commonly associate are um, Vicki Weaver... Marvin Hemeyer, Lavoy Finicum, Duncan Lemp, and Ashley Babbitt. These are figures considered martyrs, according to these people. And I mean, yeah, but they're not asking any questions as to why. They're just saying that these people are indicators that somebody is against the government. I fucking wonder why, you know? Maybe it could have something to do with the fact that Duncan Limp was killed in his own home. Maybe it was something to do with the fact that Marvin Hemeyer was pushed by his town into extreme circumstances. Maybe stop doing that, stop killing people in their homes and pushing people to extreme circumstances. <laughs> so... Notable attacks or criminal activity that inspire MVEs. Timothy McVeigh, the Crusaders, as in like Christian Crusaders, and uh, Stephen Carrillo. I don't know, this image is somewhat blurry, so. And I think there's like something more there, but I can't, like, below the three per symbol, but I, I actually just can't read it, so. <laughs> yeah, um, Ruby Ridge and Waco are significant events they reference. So basically, my Twitter means that I get to be in the FBI crosshairs if this is legitimate at all. How about you? Does your Twitter mean that? Because I think it's interesting that they're... That, 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 that this is something that people actually just put out. Like, FBI, if this is real, which is a big if to me. Whenever I see a leak like this, I'm like, are they trying to, like, get people to fluff their feathers publicly and be like, hmm, oh, man, I, I'm, I, I, it's, it sucks to be on this list. Hmm, oh, shucks. Do they want people to coalesce around this list? Is this one of those public leaks things? Also, uh, just to be, like, extra conspiratorial, is the fact that they're not including basically any leftists in their list here, um, is that because they want the leftists to feel left out? Or because they want the, uh, the right-wingers to feel like they're the only ones actually resisting? Well, well... Well, maybe if you ever get watched by the FBI, we can talk about whether or not you're actually fighting the government and system and shit. But right now, the only people on that list are my people. So that clearly shows that we're the ones that are a real threat to the government and you gotta get behind our patriotism or you're one of them. Why ain't they looking at you? You must be with them. Or maybe this is an intentional leak designed to foment exactly that. 
and get leftists targeted even more. I don't know. I like that's the fun thing about the US government is that they've been known to layer stories within stories and they've been known to release things intentionally but claim it was accidental so that they could uh, get their information disseminated anyway you know but you know assuming this is real and really a leak that wasn't planned by the US government um, because like let me be completely clear here it's hilarious how many of these groups will just buy something because Project Veritas released it or because like one of their other you know personal favorite right-wing organizations released it and they don't actually need any proof of its legitimacy and they're not even willing to ask the question of whether or not this is a legitimate thing they just you know Project Veritas said so so that's good enough um, but like you'll notice they include people like Tim McVeigh they include people like the Crusaders right they they have events listed like Ruby Ridge and Waco but they don't have people like Ted K hmm right they don't have <laughs> more effective people they they barely have anyone who's been effective recently i think the only one that really matters at all in this entire list is the first one that they listed which is the boogaloo i think that's the only one here that actually matters Common imagery incorporates igloo and or Hawaiian shirts and flowers. You can't have flowers without these people claiming you're a part of a terror organization, a militia of violent extremism. So that, that, I mean, it's not camouflage, that's for sure. So, you know... I just think it's funny. I, I think this is funny. Um, and I thought it would be funny to go over. Obviously, as some of you know, some of this applies to me. I have advocated 2A for an obnoxiously long period of time. I've advocated the, uh, the Molan Labe thing. I've advocated certain aspects of warrior culture. Um... I know I've advocated anarcho-capitalism, but I've, you know, I'm basically just panarchist at this point, um, and I think no school of anarchy really gets it 100% right all the time. Um, I have a Punisher tank top, and I talk about how good the Punisher comics are, largely because of their anti-cop and anti-corruption messages. <laughs> so, you know... And I've definitely been affiliated with the Boog. So, them... I The Gadsden flag? Are you kidding? Like, the Liberty Tree? I've referenced both of these a lot. And I even made, like, a sonic version of the Gadsden flag that says you're too slow, because that's fucking hilarious. Um, and, like, I've laughed at every one of these groups that I can identify. And I would probably laugh at the other... You know, what what are we dealing with here? Like, light foot militia. I'm not real familiar with them. If anybody knows anything about them, feel free to hit me up. But to me, it's probably just nobody's. Um, but like, you know, I've been affiliated with a lot of this stuff. I've talked about Lavoy Finicum, Marvin Hemeyer. Duncan Lemp, Ashley Babbitt. I've said a lot of this stuff in the common phrases and references section. I've uh, referenced the significant events, both of them, a lot. Um, I don't really reference these things, though, because these are garbage. Like, um, there are much more effective things that have been done. 
you know, like Ted K. Like, he got a fucking whole ass, like, printout in a major publication because they wanted him to start to stop hurting people, you know? And, and that is accomplishment. These other people basically didn't get anything they wanted, so... I don't know why they're... Why they would be inspirational to these people. It's... I'm not inspired. And also, except maybe the Crusaders. But, like... Fuck the Crusaders. I'm not inspired by a bunch of theocratic bitches who like, forced their religious will on a significant amount of people. So, unless it's talking about a specific group, because I think it might be, like, October 2016, three MVEs were arrested for planning to conduct an IED attack on an apartment complex in Garden City, Kansas. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah, fuck those people, too. Bitches. Like, they, they picked the... They, they need better writers. This is fucking garbage. They didn't get most of the symbols or movements. They didn't get most of the phrases. They didn't get most of the notable attacks or significant events. They didn't get shit. They didn't get shit. They didn't write down in their timeline of key events. They didn't write down... The fact that a boog boy was the one who started the fire in Minneapolis, you know? Like, they didn't get shit. They didn't get shit. But I'm sure that whoever wrote this, if this is legitimate and was legitimately leaked, I'm sure that whoever wrote this felt very badass and very, I'm doing my part. Yes, sir, I am. I, 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 I'm dotting my I's and crossing my T's and, and I, I wear, I, I have the, the personality equivalent of khaki shorts and a polo shirt. That's the kind of person who would make a document like this. This is fucking pathetic. Holy shit. And they just want people, they, they, if this is real and legitimate, they just want their fucking FBI people to memorize this and fucking accept it. There's no context here. There's no appendices. This is just the document. It's just a bulletin that they fucking circulated. It's a guide. But it's not actually a guide. They're not even guiding shit. All they're doing is saying, here is our shit. Believe it. Use it. <laughs> pathetic little sheep ass parrots if this is real fucking FBI agents are let, or, or let around like fucking retards like let, let's just give them this information and tell them this is bad news bears so that they can believe us and immediately go on whatever fucking thing we tell them to anyway I thought you all would be amused by this, especially since those of you who have been following me for some time know that uh, I'm affiliated with some of these symbols. The black flag, fucking... Yeah, so... <laughs> uh, if this is real, uh, I mean, I, I've known for some time that I'm on one of their watch lists, but, you know, at least one, probably many... And uh, now I know that I'm on one of their uh, things for the FBI, if this is real, because guaranteed they just built a database of it and anyone using this symbology anywhere, so. Good! Another thing to add to a little feather in my cap. Right? Um, at least when I'm sliding into homelessness, uh, I can know that I slid into homelessness in style. So, anyway, uh, if y'all want to support this content, uh, share it with somebody you know who's also probably on this list, and uh, yeah, welcome to the database. Smash the state.